Hey yo, how's it going everyone? Entropy here today with another video. Today I'll be touching upon a topic that I don't think any other Vanguard tuber has covered yet. The idea that there's one card that JB has that Global will never ever had. Do you have any idea what this card is? Comment down below before I reveal the answer in just a little bit and let's see if you have it right. All right, so why does this card not exist in Global? Well, the first things first, in many different card games and games in general, there are ten, there, there tend to be different types of censorships, whether that's because of, of language differences or culture or religion or whatnot. Vanguard actually has multiple iterations. So of course there's the Japanese version, there's the English version, um, but there's also Italian, there's Korean, um, and so on and so forth. With so many versions, obviously culture is kind of a sensitive topic and that's understandable. So there are different versions of some cards. So for example, I just want to bring up Korean because I just, <laughs> I found it surprising that Korean, there's actually Korean card fight Vanguard. Um, Demon Eater. So Demon Eater here, I think everyone recognizes it. It is in Vanguard Zero. So this is not the card I'm talking about, um, but there's actually an alt art just made for the Korean version. And even its name, I believe, according to the wiki, um, instead of Demon Eater, it's called Dream Eater. Now, this has some implications because, well, uh, for starters, some cards interact with certain keywords. Of course, I don't think there is there are cards in Dark Regular that interact with the word Demon. Um, but yeah, that, that could be some long-run implications as well. Um, but luckily, that's not one of the things that, that we've, we've seen. Uh, another card, for example, would be Silent Tom. So this is the art that you, you're recognizing, and um, this is the art that Korea got for BTO2. Um, now, for Vanguard Zero players, you would know that this is the art that we got for tournament mode, and if you are a JP player, or um, uh, if you have collected other variants of the TCG, English version or whatnot, um, you will know that the alt art that Korea got for BTO2 is actually the one that we got from the extra booster, um, the OTT extra booster, I believe it's extra booster 005. Um, so yeah, I think it's just, Genuinely interesting that there are different artworks because of censorship and uh, and there are could be different names. Now, let's go back to Vanguard Zero. You know, that's the whole point of this channel, Vanguard Zero, right? What card am I talking about? Well, this card actually has, is quite significant because there is no different art or there is no different name variant in global. The card that I'm talking about is this card, Hazard Bob with two Bs, Hazard Bubbub. And this card is in JP. This card was released in set 11 um, in the TCG, Sealed Dragon Unleashed. Same as in uh, in, in uh, Vanguard Zero, it is also set 11, uh, where Genesis got its support and Genesis got its self-damagers, grade one, grade two self-damagers. No, in, um, in Global, we do have the grade one self-damager, but we do not have Hazard Bob. Um, why? Well, because censorship, apparently, um, because its art is too too much for the general audience, I suppose. Um, and why is this significant? Well, we've seen cards like, like Bermuda Triangle cards where they literally just get censored art, right? You just add some, you know, clothing or, you know, add a tail or whatever um, instead. And in this case, the cards are still playable. Right, the cards in Bermuda are still playable because even though it's not the same art, you can have that unit with with the same skill, with the same stats in game. Uh, in Genesis' case, you will not see Hazard Bob at all. You will not see it. It was never printed in the in the TCG um, outside the Japanese format, and it will probably never come to global. And that's honestly a shame. Uh, and yes, you know I, I've. I, I've, I've seen people discuss how, you know, the implications aren't that far and wide. Um, you're probably not gonna play the self-damager in Genesis anyways. Your grade two slot is too, 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 too tight. You know, you have your your Witch of Grapes, you have your uh, Melissa's, I mean, sorry, Shamo Mouths, you have all those cards. You don't have space for the self-damager, but it's always an option. And it's an option that global players will not ever see. And I think that's that's something that we should be aware of and something that, you know, along the line, down the line. I don't know what other censorships are there in this game, um, but it could be a big difference between the metagame between JP and Global. Uh, personally, self damagers have always been common rarities, and so it's really easy to procure. Um, 
personally, I've heard suggestions from Genesis players well where um, self damagers are actually viable because sometimes you just want to go Fortuna on your first grade three ride and go li do limit break stuff. So, I mean, that's the video. Like, what are your thoughts about the difference between JP and Global? What are your thoughts about the way they censored Hazard Bob? Do you think they could have just made an alternate art for Hazard Bob in Global? Do you think they could have, you know, just repainted it using Microsoft Paint or whatever <laughs> and just put it out there? Um, would you think that this card actually would play a, uh, have an impact? So before we end this video, I just want to go back to my last video where we had a brief challenge where I asked you what was my biggest misplay. And of course, there are a lot of misplays, and I really like all your answers, um, and I really appreciate it personally just as a player. I really like to have um, a different perspective um, to kind of analyze my own plays, and I will definitely um, take the chance to improve on my play as well. But my favorite, and honestly, the, the most surprising one is from Suryant. So apologies if I butcher your name. Um, but yeah, he mentioned how I was greedy with the Berserk Dragon. If I paid more attention into what my opponent drove check, which was two PGs back to back, I could have set up my endgame better and went for lethal, given that I knew that my opponent was already two PGs down. So with that, I think this was honestly one of the um, the best suggestions, and I will definitely reflect on my own Berserk Dragon kind of kind of plays because I am very impatient at times, and that was definitely one of the cases where being impatient and not paying enough attention definitely costed me the game. So thank you so much to to Suryans. Thank you so much to everyone who put their time and effort into analyzing the games, and uh, I really appreciated it. Um, but yeah, um, thank you all so much, and I guess let's jump to the outro of this video. And I suppose that is it. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more discussions like this, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.